How y'all doing? Donald back here again, and I wanted to show you a neat little resource I found yesterday. Um, so if you know what easing functions are, easing functions are basically like this mathematical equation that uh, changes how what changes the rate of how something changes over time. And if you the immediate thing you may know about these or kind of relate to it is. Um, if you do anything with CSS and transitions, you know that there are some presets you can use to kind of determine um, how the transit how the transition works. So by default, it's it's like linear. So like there's no variation in how it changes over time. Um, but then you may have seen things like well like ease in where maybe like it slowly moves and then speeds up over time. And there's actually a lot of these. And I was having trouble. Uh, like remembering like how to how to use them and i found this super awesome website that has like all of the ones you'd ever want and it even demonstrates how it behaves um actually has css examples and also the mathematical equation i was in my case i was interested in the mathematical equation and i'm going to uh show you why uh as i go through this uh before we get started um, if you've enjoyed my content and you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to remember to drop a like and subscribe. And with that, let me show you the goods. So this is a site. It's called uh, easings.net. And it's it's pretty simple. Um, you will see it has, uh, what is this, like, I don't know, a little over a dozen different, um, or two dozen even. Yeah, two dozen, uh, like, easing function variations. And... Uh, Something neat that you can see if you mouse over one of these is you can actually it'll actually show you what the uh, like how the how the change looks how the rate looks you see like an ease in uh, sine wave it's like it kind of starts slow and speeds up and if you say go down to cubic it's much more much more drastic and then you even go to quint and it's it's even more drastic so that in itself I thought was cool enough but if you click into one of these. Um, it shows the same thing here, just bigger. Um, it has the the exact CSS you would need to have this exact same behavior. Uh, and there's some things there. Where apparently, there's some uh, post CSS plugins to do these things. I guess without having to know like this this these cubic Bezier uh, numbers. And then apparently, you can do it with gradients too, which is interesting. And they even gives you an example of what the gradient looks like. But this is the thing I was most interested in is is the math equation, and this shows you the mathematical equation to get this uh, to get this uh, this rate of change over time. Uh, uh, in particular, the reason I was interested in this is I want to essentially use all of these or be able to use all of these in uh, my Go programs, uh, Go packages that I'm writing uh, to modify the uh, rate of different animations uh, and if we just kind of go through some of these there's there's some very interesting ones here so if you get down towards the bottom you you get to these very interesting ones like um the like this elastic and this bounce let me move my head out of the way for the the bounce one's very interesting um all the other thing i didn't show you was so if you see over here it'll uh kind of show you what this rate of change looks like compared to when there's no no change, and it, you you can view it preview it with uh, the size, the position, and the transparency. So we're on this bounce one, right? So if we hit size, this little um this like uh, opacity layer here, watch how it changes. So you'll see that in linear, it just it just you know just kind of goes away, but on the bounce one, it kind of kind of like uh bounce like kind of like shakes which is very interesting and then the position does the same thing see it kind of kind of jerks which i thought was pretty nice and then transparency the transparency one with the bouncing easing function is actually very interesting that's like it's almost like a you could get like a screen flickering effect which seems pretty cool and then here's the um, mathematical equation for that too uh <coughs> excuse me you'll notice that um some of these uh, they, I think this is the only one actually. It actually references the formula in another easing function or easing function. I think bounce is the only one that does that because the bounce one is like probably the most complicated one there is. 
because most of the other ones are like just maybe like one conditional but other than that it doesn't really have much to it but this one's got like four different conditionals which is more complicated than the rest of them like if we let's let's check the the size and stuff on this one so this one's nice too it just kind of like that boing boing when it comes in same thing with the transparency just a little flicker and the position just a little bounce uh so if you for whatever reason were in the need of uh wanting to know or needing to know what these easing functions are maybe it's for um, something something academic like college or you wanted it for uh maybe something to do with css this this is basically as far as i know right now this is your one-stop shop it has your css examples um the math equations everything now um i've actually already made use of this if you were wanting to use any of these equations in like a go program i already ported these over to a package uh it's called easing so if we kind of go in here real quick um <clears throat> every every single one of those variants is defined in a function that you could just call and i have linear here just i guess for completion's sake but it doesn't really need to be there because it just returns the same thing you gave into it but all of these as far as i uh kind of poked around with these should all behaving correctly um if i messed any of these um up feel free to point it out in the comments below or maybe even just make like a i forget i have i forget if i have this enabled to make pull requests on this repo i don't remember this repo is public and i'll link the repo down below so if you want to um you know import it to use it in your code or fork it or do whatever you have at it um this has every single one i did find um before i made this another go package that did something similar but I, I'm pretty sure it was incomplete because there was a couple of functions down at the bottom of the file that they just they didn't do anything. They basically returned one or zero. So they looked like it was incomplete. This has every single one of those variants that you saw on that site in here already. And as far as I double checked it, it should be correct. Um, there's a second part to this package that was specific for my use case. And it's not done yet, which is this FFmpeg sub package. And what this is, is um, it's returning the string representation of these formulas. And you may ask, well, what the hell are you returning the string representation of these formulas for? Well, as I said, I want to use these to do some more interesting animations whenever you're using certain filters with FFmpeg. Um, the main one being, why is my nose so edgy? God, please stop. Thank you. Um, so just when you're doing like draw text and maybe dynamically changing the position or the alpha, uh, this is what I want to use here. So to kind of give it, I haven't tested these yet. This is just me. I was just translating them. Uh, the way that this would work is so this this uh, string you would pass in. Um, what that would be, if I can, let me see. Let me open up. Let me go to my... Projects, Golang, draw text. Uh, go, oops, draw text dot go. So the thing you would be passing into this um, would be if I go to, where is that? Yeah, okay, fade expression. So this part of the expression right here, this is basically being used to determine the, um, I guess you want to say the progress of the effect happening. So these two um, expressions in in these strings here are are what's basically tracking the progress of the text fading in and fading out. So what I would do is I would this exact string right here I would pass it into uh, that one of those functions, and it would basically kind of like plug it in in place of where the x was in the the, um, the go functions, and theoretically. This will allow you to modify the change of this of this progress over time by passing it into these um, equations, and then they're kind of just automatically injected into the um, the FFmpeg filter arguments. That's the main reason I have those right now. Uh, as I said, you'll notice that it's not done yet. Uh, I was doing these on stream the other day, and I just decided to just stop because I'd already been doing it for like an hour and a half. Um, but uh, 
you also notice I go ahead and, and like go ahead and escape. I wasn't sure if like I just if I should go ahead and be escaping the uh, commas because you have to escape them uh, for um, for most terminals, I think, because it was um, you have to escape these because FFmpeg also regards these as meaning like the next the next filter after the one that you're doing. Uh, but this basically says, you know, pass this in as is to evaluate as a part of a expression. So I need to finish this. And then the goal is to be able to use any of these to modify the animations that I'm using when I'm generating if I've been picked stuff. Um, mainly want to use it for position. Uh, I guess you could use it for the fade in stuff too, but that wouldn't be as interesting. I, I'm mostly interested in having it like slide in text interesting like kind of do like the the ease the ease in for when it's coming in uh just maybe to show like i don't know social link stuff or whatever and then just whoosh, slide back out uh that's that's not really what i wanted to show you that's all i really wanted to show you all today was just this site because um when i just happened to find this site i was like holy shit this is like the holy grail of of easing functions <laughs> i see i don't I think I very vaguely remember something about these from when I was in college, but uh, I sure shit never used it once I was out of college, and I kind of suck at math anyway, so good luck to me figuring this shit back out on my own. Uh, but yeah, there you go. If you, if you were in need of easing functions for some, for some reason, there's your, this, is your, this is your golden goose. Uh, have, have fun with it. Um, if, uh, that's all I have for you today. If you liked the video, be sure to like, uh, subscribe. If you have any questions about, uh, say, what the hell I was doing with that Go package or anything, be sure to leave me a comment down below. Uh, if you want to follow me on any social media stuff, I got links down there. If you want to support the channel, I also got links down below for that as well. And with that, y'all come on back now, and I'll see you next time.